What's up everybody? I want to tell you about my favorite carpet cleaning product, at least right now, at the end of January 2019. It's called Encapia Clean O2. This is a one-step product. Not only is it great for headliners, but it's also great for your maintenance clients. If you're doing a deep clean on someone's carpet, I strongly recommend a pre-spray and then a rinse with hot water extraction. So you're, you're gonna put a lot more work into that particular process. What I've got here is just my Encapia Clean O2 diluted um, and uh, check out the carpets real quick. So you can see some of this carpeting. I pretty much vacuumed most of it already. I'm gonna finish it up. But do a little bit more vacuuming on the front end if you can. 74 to 79% of all the dirt that you ever find in the carpet, you can't get out with a chemical or with steam or water, okay? So this is going to be very important. Get all the dry soil out before you start cleaning. So I'm gonna finish up, I'm gonna keep brushing and vacuuming, and then I'm gonna hit this with Encapia Clean. Remember, the best time to remove the soil is when it's dry. So here's my Capu Clean. You really don't need to do much. I mean, I'm just talking about a light mist over the carpets, and that's about it. And what you want to do is then brush it in. So we don't want any wicking. We don't want to overwet the carpets, right? That's always a concern, and especially for a, a maintenance detail. I'm just going to work this gently into the carpet fibers. And this product is just amazing. It's got bite, it's got a little bit of, I think, hydrogen peroxide um, to brighten the carpets up a little bit. You're not gonna bleach the carpets at all with steam. I mean, it's a very safe product. Um, and just kind of let it work in <clears throat> and do its thing. And it's got bite, but it's also promoting anti-wicking as long as you don't use too much of it. So it's a little wet there, and what I'll probably do now is uh, put an air mover in here and dry this very quickly. Just a quick spritz as well. Again, you don't need too much, less is more. Let's do a quick spritz on the back here as well. And then I'm just gonna focus on uh, agitating with my brush, making sure that the end cap product uh, gets in all the fibers. And then pretty much to expedite drying, I could do an air mover <clears throat> or I could just let it dry on its own. So the idea with encapsulation products is when everything dries, they coat all the fibers and then the dirt just breaks right away from the fibers. So it's super easy to vacuum up. So I'm just going to throw an air mover on here just to expedite the drying. And uh, this is going to be a really easy maintenance carpet thanks to Encapia Clean O2. Okay, forgive the noise. I'm removing this uh, air mover here, which is just... Uh, assisted in fast drying, right? The faster we dry, the less chances we have of any wicking. I'm just going to go through in here and just do a final uh, vacuum of all the dirt that's left over. You guys know me, I'm always going to go a little bit of uh, above and beyond. Uh, these carpets look really good. Um, I haven't done the floor pedals or any of that stuff yet. Every once in a while, things look a little hazy, and I find that sometimes that's just a little bit of dirt, you know, like dry soil that I just need to work out one more time 
um, and then vacuum it up. And usually it ends up looking great.